What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few different wrestling topics in this video here again today. So just to kick it off with Mike Johnson over at the PW Insider reporting that Edge, Beth Phoenix, and Logan Paul are slated to appear in the upcoming Royal Rumble or at the upcoming Royal Rumble Premium Live Event. I don't know why they call them now. Called I don't know why they call them Premium Live Events now. I cannot stand that title. The report reads that since we've been asked about his potential return for some time, PW Insider is told that Edge is penciled in to return at the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view. He was last seen at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in October, losing to Finn Balor in an I Quit match, which was a great match. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out if you're a wrestling fan, or if you have, go revisit it, because I've revisited that match several times. I thought it was very emotionally driven towards the end as well, uh, especially considering the, the circumstances of what brought Edge to say I quit, which I thought was masterfully executed and done on screen. I was like, there's no way Edge is going to be able to say I quit unless you do this, which we know what happened with Beth Phoenix that caused him to say I quit. And I thought it was brilliant how they basically forced him to do it because, you know, you're going to put your wife above anything usually. <laughs> so... It also goes on to say that WWE Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix is also slated for the Royal Rumble. We're told the word making the rounds at TV this week was that Dewdrop will be back around that time as well, returning to the Raw brand. She noted recently online that she's been away for an extended period due to an illness. Logan Paul is absolutely being talked about in regards to appearing at the Royal Rumble as well, as long as his knee is rehabbed and he's ready to go. Speaking specifically about Edge, I don't mind Edge being in the Royal Rumble at all. I mean, he returned to the 2020 Royal Rumble one of the best comeback stories I've seen in recent memory. That was a great moment in 2020, considering everything that followed during that year. That was one of the happiest moments of the year for me, no doubt, as a wrestling fan. Edge returning after being away for so long, being forced to retire early. I didn't, I didn't mind him being in that Rumble. He came back at the 2020 Rumble. I believe he won the 2021 Rumble. And given how he was written off TV recently at Extreme Rules, I imagine this upcoming appearance will be for nothing more than just a, used to establish a final match between him and Balor heading into WrestleMania, whether that be a mixed tag match or some sort, who knows. Uh, jumping into the next thing, Dave Meltzer had some interesting info to share about Nick Khan's whereabouts during Monday Night Raw this week. And just to remind everyone, Nick Khan is currently the sole CEO of WWE. So Meltzer stated this during the Wrestling Observer. He stated, Nick Khan was in Los Angeles when I was in Los Angeles. Nick went to the football game Monday night. He wasn't at Raw and met with heavy hitters because they went to the college football championship game between TCU and Georgia at the SoFi Stadium. Bob Iger, Jimmy Jimmy Patero, so I guess those names will ring some bells. If those names are unfamiliar to you, let me clarify by saying Bob is Disney CEO and James is the ESPN president, I believe. So the reason this is interesting is because while I haven't seen context for what the meeting was related to, it's happening in the midst of this sale that we're told WWE wants to do by mid-2023. Uh, there was no context given for what the meeting was related to, but it's got to be about selling the company. It just has to be. Before I get into the primary topic, I want to discuss, I'll say that Disney buying WWE has one positive that sticks out to me more than anything else right now. And if you want to chime in, let me know some other positives, please do down in the comment section below. The only positive I could see is this would help wrestlers transition over to Hollywood easier, I'd imagine. Again, let me know your thoughts on Disney potentially buying WWE down in the comment section below. Last thing we're going to talk about, the primary thing we're going to talk about is a potential merging of AEW and WWE because a sister company or a sister publication to the Wall Street Journal is reporting something related to AEW potentially buying WWE. All Elite Wrestling, the top rival to the WWE, led by Tony Khan and family, is in the pool of potential buyers for WWE. A person close to a potential trans to the potential transaction told Barons, which is the publication that's reporting this, adding that the Khans will likely look for a financial partner to acquire the asset. Tony Khan's father, Shahid Khan, a co-owner of AEW, already owns the football team Jacksonville Jaguars and the English soccer club Fulham Football Club, indicating that the duo have deep pockets, which is something we already knew. If you're an AEW fan like myself, this is something we knew going into AEW before it even made its way onto television. Personally, my thoughts on the matter is I can't see Vince allowing this to occur. But I also know Vince loves money, so it's kind of like I, I can't see him allowing it, but I also could. I just think there's a higher chance he wouldn't allow it more so than actually allow it. If this did happen, I realistically 
could see WWE running as it is right now with very little shakeup, of course, but ultimately brands like Raw and SmackDown would still exist. In a perfect world, if this were to happen, Triple H remains head of creative for me. Wrestlers like Wyatt Cross, Mercedes, if she ends up in the AEW company, which I know so many people were disappointed she didn't appear last night. My brief thoughts on that is that was something the fans really set up more than AEW in a way after especially after they announced tony storm but i get it also maybe you shouldn't have hyped it up for over a month that a mystery partner was going to be involved so wrestlers again like wyatt cross mercedes if this were to happen wouldn't have to worry about vince's antics which is a large reason some of them were fine returning to the company now not mercedes because again she left prior to vince's actual exit from the company uh, but again, I'm saying in a perfect world, wrestlers like those three that I just mentioned would be fine. If Triple H were to remain head of creative, if AEW were to actually buy the company. I just don't think Vince will let them get the company unless it was the very last option. I'm sure people also wouldn't want to see someone else monopolizing pro wrestling like Vince had done for the past decade, which is what helped make the alternatives so attractive to begin with. The, the promotions like TNA when they were in their prime and AEW and AEW appeared so when I look back on how Vince killed NXT because it couldn't beat Dynamite in ratings part of me just imagines that he would refuse to admit defeat in the ultimate way like this by selling the company to AEW and I'm also certain he'd prefer to sell to someone that would allow him to just run wild regardless of how much backlash it would cause because Vince is that deranged and he doesn't value those that consume his product the way some of them believe that he does he he just doesn't he's all about himself he's all about him making the best money doesn't care if you really enjoy the product if he is somehow able to come in and do what he wants to do without having an answer to anyone not having an answer to NBC not having an answer to those at Fox answer to those at USA just having to just do whatever he thinks is best when what mostly he likes to do is just terrible for the TV and for the product and for the brands and for your eyes that you have to unfortunately use to watch this trash <laughs> then he's going to do it if he's just able to run wild he's going to do it so that's the other thing I see as to why I can't see See him selling it to AEW but again if they have the money to back it up that's the other thing that's making me think okay if they are a last option Vince will let them have it but I don't see him choosing them as a first even if they do have the money but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts I am on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.